power pack field, no doubt about it. You got uh, Broly Sioli in here from post three, always in the hunt. Best Risque, she can fire off the gate. West River Amber, that additional chart line back in the six, left from six, finished six, 59 and one. That makes up the field here today. The Sherry's Heating Service starting gate has them right now. It's upstairs for the race call. Here's Vance Cameron. First of two open mares on this Sunday afternoon, starting up Governor's Plate Week. Shadows Mystery, Sharako Miley K. Brody Leona Best Risque. West River Amber Rambling Lily. Post time. There they go. They're off and pacing. Best Risque firing. Shadows Mystery at the rail. Splitting them third. Sharako Miley K as they round the turn. Rambling Lily up fourth on the outside. Then in fifth at the rail. That's Brody's Leona and the trailer West River Amber. They go to the opening quarter, led by Best Risque. Second is Shadows Mystery. Third, Shiraco Miley K. Rambling Lily got his speed handed. In fourth, then in fifth is Brody's Leona and the trailer West River Amber. Early movement on the front. Kenny Arsenal, right line. Shadows Mystery off a 28 second flat. Opener. Shadows Mystery now leading it. Second is Best Risque. There goes Scirocco Miley K underway third. Rambling Lily is fourth. Brody's Leona fifth on the outside the trailer. That's West River Amber at the midway point. A new leader. Scirocco Miley K for Berrio. Cleared the lead. Shadows Mystery is second. Opening half mile 57. And three, Rambling Lily's coming third on the outside. Moving up fourth is West River Amber. On the rail, Best Risque fifth. Now the trailer. That is Brody's Leona. And Lily has taken over, going to three quarters. Second is Scirocco. Miley K, Shadows Mystery third. West River Amber's all out fourth on the outside. Fifth is Best Risque. Brody's Leona six, 126 and two, down at three quarters, rambling Lily, opens by four, it's all over. Second is Scirocco Miley K, shadowed mystery coming up the inside, late third, but rambling Lily does it again to double up Sheffery. Second was Shadow's mystery, might have been Scirocco Miley K hanging on third, one, fifth. 55 and 1. Well, there's a look at her coming from the uh, top of the turn here. I'll uh, tell you what, Rambling Lily here, as I said, I just love this mare. And uh, there was so much action on the front end on this race. And uh, Walter, again, a patience. And when he moved her to the half to give her her cue, she was gone. Zoom, uh, Lee, as we were saying off mic here. But again, all she does is win, Lee. We talked about this in the free race. You can do it any way you want on the front end. Today, it was certainly uh, Walter waited for the action uh, to settle down up front because Jason left hard with Best Risk A. That didn't uh, last long. Kenny made the uh, the right line move early. That horse cleared up Shadow's Mystery. Then Jill came with Sirocco Miley K. And Walter was just watching it all. And when he made his move, Lee, basically uh, once they passed the half, she made a quick move. And uh, wow, she was by Jill down the back stretch pretty quick. And it was all over. She opened up, and again, she's a winner here easily today, Rambling Lily, in 155 and 151 lifetime wins for Rambling Lily. There's one word that describes rambling Lily. Winner. 
and she wins today for the 51st time in 94 starts. Incredible. She's going to the winner's circle. Rambling Lily, Bay Pacing Mare 7 by Articulator from the drop-off Dam Crafty Jewel. She's a homebred of Alan Jones of Riverview and Norma Legier of Chediac, New Brunswick, trained by Alan Jones and the very capable hands of Walter Chevery. She now has ripped off five consecutive victories and this afternoon an excellent trip of 155 and a one-fifth. Rambling Lily in a division of the open mares at Summerside.